so that's the breakfast sorted and now we're gonna go grab the uh, grab the cameras grab the bags and head over to the castle we're in uh, I think it's Tintagel uh, I don't know if you if you've seen the last video you may have noticed I said I wasn't too well well now I'm slowly getting my voice back so if I sound a bit weird that's why <laughs> right really windy grey skies but we're hoping not to get too wet right let's go It's a little island or outcrop off the coast but to this one you can actually walk because it's a little bit ele more elevated uh, so it doesn't get cut off uh. Bad news, the, uh, the castle's shut because of the winds which is a bit of a pain uh, but we'll still go along the coast and try to go for a walk basically and see what we can see. It may reopen later on, um, so what we're hoping is on the way back we'll stop off at the ticket office and see whether it's reopened by then. But no guarantees though. We had a look at the uh, at the island thing from from the viewing platform thing. Uh, we decided to head off to the church, which is just a little bit south from the main place, if you like. Took shelter, had a look. It's a l nice little church. Uh, the bit where I think the bell ringers would have been has got actually ferns growing inside the church which is pretty funky uh, and now the wind's still quite harsh so that place still definitely got to be shut so we're heading further south and there's supposed to be a beach you never know maybe a photo opportunity Just carry on The plan was to, basically we had a look on the map and we thought that there was going to be a beach to which we could go and take some shots, but it turns out that there's no reasonable way of getting down there, it's just a steep coast and that's it, just a drop. And as you may notice from the audio, the wind's been a bit of a pain. So what we're doing is we're just doing a bit of a loop and heading back towards Tintagel. Uh, cream tea is definitely on the cards for today. So we may end up doing that when we get there and then see what happens with the weather and take it from there. So we're at the cafe now, I'm going to get some cream tea. Um, that's going to get by us some time and hopefully by the time we're done with that the weather will have calmed down 
And you never know, maybe they'll even open up the castle. No. Okay, cream tea sorted. And a question for you. What do you put first, cream or jam? I say cream and then jam on top. It's gotta be. Come on, that's the right way. Anyway, we had a look, because from the car park where we parked up, um, you can see the actual island outcropping uh, and there are people on there so we're just going to go down now and go on top let's go cool. okay it's happening we've got the ticket uh, and we're going to be on our way to cross over now I did ask whether you're allowed to fly a drone around there and he said that <clears throat> you need insurance and permission from them which is fair enough uh, but he, what he did also say was that as much as you're not allowed to fly over it you can fly around it so I mean it's a bit too windy today uh, but if it wasn't I might have been tempted but I don't think I will honestly it's the wind's still a bit too harsh and I don't really fancy losing the Mavic <laughs> right gonna wait for the others uh, and then we'll head up Okay, a fun fact, the, there are remains of the castle up there, as you can see, uh, and these two sides used to be connected, and the castle actually used to be a figure of eight, and there's another set of remains of the castle up there on the other side. Somebody's going to be GoProing. Got all the equipment necessary. Shooting from down there would be so awesome. There's one staircase which is supposed to take you down, but that's apparently been damaged, so it's locked and you're not allowed to go down. Which is a big shame because there would have been some awesome shots down there. But the views from up here are really cool and we've only just really come on. Uh, the uh, We're still to go up. Yeah, let's carry on. This would be a pretty cool shot. If it wasn't for the fact that it's all just a single colour. If there was sun hitting just one part of it, but not the other, then it would look nice on a photo shot, on a photo. But because it's all single colour, there's not much. You won't see much depth in it. It just wouldn't work. We might try it later on anyway. And see what we can do later on in post. But we'll keep on looking. And there's the statue. That's going to be the first shot. But there's no light, so... Uh, I don't know, black and white? We'll see, what can, we'll see what we can do with it. Let's shoot. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the uh, compulsory shots of the big man sorted out. Ooh, still windy. Uh, now we're going to go and see whether we can take some shots of the bay. Because it looks absolutely awesome. But I'm limited to the uh, wide angle 16 to 35. I didn't take the 17 to 200. So, we'll see. You don't try, you don't get. Joe's shooting some longer exposures with an ND filter and I'm really kicking myself that I haven't taken the 70 to 200 because the 35 mil which is as max, the maximum for that 35 well 16 to 35 f4 that I've got it's just not enough and the detail you could pick out over there it's would it's got very high potential of being pretty cool um, but hey, lesson learned. Next time, take the glass. Don't leave it at home. <laughs> yeah, pretty special players. I can definitely recommend. If you come to Tintagel and you want to take some pretty cool shots, one, check out the um, the little beach bit over there by the waterfall. That's literally as you come down past the uh, what you can see there. That's the ticket office. Uh, and down there, that beach, you can, I'm sure there's loads of awesome shots to be there. And also, when you actually get onto the island, stay on your right hand side and go along the edge and you'll come to this place, basically where we are now. And there's loads of shots to be had here. Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, I was going to go for a panoramic, but to be honest, I wouldn't really know how to stitch the water together. Uh, I'm talking about the white waves on the, on the um, hitting the coast, hitting the shoreline. I think because they're multiple exposures stitched together, I think that I don't think they would align, and I don't. My Photoshop skills aren't good enough to make them align. So instead, I'm going to go for one exposure, and I'm just going to crop it which isn't quite as good but gets a similar similar sort of effect uh, I'm going to use a polarizer to get some of that glare off the water let's see how it turns out okay back of the car now Driving over to the uh, accommodation for the next two nights, I think it's a hostel again, uh, by Eden Project, that's it. Um, and yeah, and then we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. <coughs>